Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to get the names of all the files in a folder in Excel spreadsheet. This is my desktop screen and here I have a folder Trump Excel. If I go into this folder you would see that there are a lot of Excel spreadsheet files and I also have a couple of Word documents. In total there are 70 items. Now the intent is to copy all these names in Excel spreadsheet. So let me open a new Excel spreadsheet workbook. So you can see this is a new workbook with the name book 1. And now if I have to do this manually I would have to go back to this folder and if I do this one by one I can copy this and I will have to paste it in one of the cells and then go forward and then do this for all these items. I would show you a fast way of doing this in Excel. The first step is to get the name of the folder in cell A1. Now the address of the folder here you only see Trump Excel but the address would be something like this something like C user Sumit Bansal desktop Trump Excel and all. So you can simply identify the address and put it here and at the end you put an asterisk sign. An asterisk sign denotes that all the files need to be extracted. There is no particular extension that we are looking for. So we are not looking for XLSX file or a DOCX file. So to get all the files you would use the asterisk sign at the end. Now in this case I had already identified the address of this folder but in case if you do not have the folder address or if you are not able to do it correctly you can simply use this formula now if you're watching this video on YouTube you would have this formula in the description if you're watching it somewhere else you can find this formula on my website www.trumpexcel.com and there would be an entire article on this technique and you would have this formula there so here you can see I've simply come to cell A1 and I paste this formula and as soon as I hit enter it gives me the value error. The reason being that I have not saved this file anywhere. So I would have to first go and save this file in the same folder. So I would go to browse desktop and here I have this folder Trump Excel. I would open this and I would save this file as test. And now when I go to this cell and hit enter it gives me the folder address. So the first thing is if you do not have the address you can extract it using this formula but you have to save this file in the same folder and as soon as I do this and use this formula it gives me this entire address. Now go to the formulas tab and here in define name you would have to create a new name range. I would name it file name list remember you cannot use spaces in defined name range so you can either use uh, something like uh, an underscore or you can simply use this technique where I have capitalized the first alphabet of each word and here I would use a formula and the formula is files now this is an Excel version 4 formula it does not work on worksheets but it still works in named ranges which means that we would use this property to get all these address with so here I have files formula and I would refer to this cell so I have equal to files sheet 1 a 1 and I click OK now I have a name range if I go to name manager I can see I have a name range file name list that refers to this cell and the formula it uses is files and the cell reference now I would use the index formula and here is where I need to extract the name of all those files so I would use index formula and in array I would give that name range which is file name list because this name range now contains the name of all the files in this folder so now I use file name list and now if I look for one which is first item in this list it would give me the name and dot xlsx if I go back to the folder you can see that the first uh, file is and similarly if I go back here and I use index formula again again with this file name list and I hit 2 here as the row number or the item number 
and hit enter it gives me average dot xlsx again if you go here and you can check this is the second file instead of typing these numbers again and again I can simply use the rows formula so I would use rows a1 to a1 and I would lock the first a1 I would go there click and press F4 that locks the first A1 part so that when I go down it would become rows A1 is to A2 so the value would become 2 and when it goes down further it becomes rows A1 is to A3 and hence if the value becomes 3 now when I hit enter oh, I forgot to close the bracket uh, let me quickly do this again I would use rows and I would lock the first one now when I hit enter it gives me and and I can drag this down and as I drag it down you can see that I have the name of all these files now you can see that there are 71 items in this folder and I would have the name of all these 71 items here so you can see that I have the name still here which is 71 you can see the count is 71 I also have some reference error because I did not know how many files would be there so to avoid that I can use if error formula and I would say if there is an error give me this value else give me blank and I can simply double click on this now when I go down I have till workday.xlsx and then I do not have any value here if you want to extract files which with particular extension then you can change this asterisk sign so in this case I had used asterisk to give me all the files that are possible but if you want to change it you can simply go into this formula and say for example you want to uh, get only uh, word document files I can use asterisk doc asterisk and now when I hit enter you can see that I have only the word document files if you go back to check you can see that I have uh, one two and three word document files and which is exactly what this is giving me one word of caution if you are using a formula to get the address of the folder remember to delete the file that you have created we had 70 items here but it shows 71 because we have created an item test so if you want to not get that in the list that you want to create so for example if I go back here and I say I want all the files you would see that I would still have this file test so if you're using this list you can either manually delete it and copy paste it or simply go and copy paste this as value this address so that you can then manually change it so this is how you can get the name of all the files in a particular folder in Excel spreadsheet very quickly I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day